This is Eric Moore with Mother.com, April 22nd, U.S. Central Standard Time. We're going to be taking a look, this is pre-market in the U.S., but going to be taking a look at the overnight action by the Nifty, which, as we can see, was down about 1.35%. But the key here is the breakout levels on the daily, weekly, and monthly. If we take a look at the daily, there was a previous daily closing high from August of 2018 at a price of 11,738.50 which is this daily closing high here you can see that this had turned into resistance in the short term here turned into a breakout level for a couple maybe a day or so and then failed and it is this failure that should be a problem or a warning sign or a reason to be cautious as far as the Indian market is concerned because of this failed breakout. In other words, anything keeping the nifty below this price is a reason to be cautious and to anticipate the possibility, increased possibility of lower prices. Keep in mind we had this improvement in prices coming at the expense of the RSI because the RSI made a lower low. So that is definitely negative divergence. And keep in mind, we also have RSI 69.1 rejection right there. So you combine those two things, you can see negative divergence, RSI 69.1 rejection. That is a sign of a market that is giving us a pullback signal. Take a look at the weekly and go back to this weekly closing high again from August 2018. You can see that at some point we were breaking out and the level that we were holding above was 11,680.50. So right now we are trading back below that price, which is not what the bulls wanted to see. And as long as we are unable to hold and stay above this level, this is now becoming a red flag with decent odds that the next meaningful direction as far as the nifty is concerned is for lower prices keep in mind on the weekly we also have rsi 69.1 uniform activity rejection and again that's also another reason to be cautious because of this rejection around the rsi 69.1 we can also see that we can use my uniformity method there should be a link in the description of the video explaining this method but you can see this is where we broke down as of mid 2018 and in breaking down the rsi also broke below this level and of course we had a sizable drop after that so now this break point where it broke down here we can draw a uniformity line and again we can see that without any type of adjustment the market has come back to this level and as of right now is being rejected. So there is another red flag. Take a look at the monthly. And the monthly has the same buy point as the weekly, which is this closing high here as of August 2018. Again, the level is 11.680.50. Going back to this monthly closing high, Early in the month of April, which is right now, we were above this level. Now we are back below it. Again, as long as we are below 11.680.80, this is becoming a warning sign, something that traders should not ignore as long as the breakout is failing. It's another way of saying if this market is to go higher, then the bulls demand that the prices move above the prior 2018 monthly closing high. One more observation we can see that if we take this break here 2018 off the highs there draw a line you can see this is potentially becoming a resistance area and if we back test the same line something like that we can see it gives us major sell signals since 1990 you can see resistance here and a break below that line of the highs of 94 broke down here of the highs of 2000 broke here 
of the highs of late 2007 broke here of the highs of 2011 late 2010 so it's a serious level to watch because this is where market has been finding a major break zone and going into a bear market eric mother mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e i see s